Welcome to an interactive envelope card tutorial. I'm Shari Filamahala here in the Graphic 45 office and today I'm going to teach you how to create these super fun and festive envelope cards. These cards are so fun with these interactive details. This has just the nutcracker little story in there but it's also great for adding some photos or some other fun maybe family or recipes on there that just slides right back into this envelope we've got our keyhole here some nice dimension and then inside you're gonna see we've got another one of these handmade little envelopes and some fun elements in here as well this is going to be great for adding in a gift card or any other little trinket or gift you'd like to stuff in this little pocket. This card here is featuring some great fussy cutting. Again, got some great dimension going on. And then these are um, just a part of our flower assortment pack. And here, our little keyhole, you can see there's a secret little face rat king hiding in the keyhole there. And then again, another little pocket. Great for a story fold out. And then the third card I'm gonna teach you in this tutorial is this Visions of Sugar Plum purple card. Again, we're gonna be layering up some of those gorgeous flower assortment pieces, including this butterfly, and then stuffing in the Sugar Plum Fairy into our envelope. So I'll teach you how to create these three. And then with the leftovers, I'm gonna walk you through these other three cards that you can create uh, using up those leftovers for a total of six fabulous envelope cards. These cards have been created for us by the wonderful Nancy Wethington. This is Nancy's first card set with us and I think you're going to fall in love with her design aesthetic. She is very talented and we are very excited to be working with her uh, in this upcoming year as well. So uh, to grab this kit, you can hop on over to our website, g45papers.com and become a subscriber to our kit club or you can just pick up this kit um, and create along with us. You can also head down to your local G45 retailer to pick up the supplies as well. So in this kit, you're gonna be getting the Nutcracker Suite 8x8 limited edition paper pad. You got 24 double-sided sheets in there. You're also going to be getting the Graphic 45 ornate keyholes. These are a great um, addition to your paper crafting projects. You'll be getting those flower assortments in shades of purple. Our ivory card bases, you get six card bases. They're a nice uh, heavy duty card stock and six envelopes, along with a project sheet with color photos, step-by-step -step directions and dimensions, and the Graphic 45 bag to store it all in. So we encourage you, even if you're not, you don't have our kit, you can always follow along with what you do have at home. So we encourage you to uh, grab your supplies and create along with us in this fun and festive tutorial. The first thing we want to do is grab our supplies. So if you look at your project sheet, if you got the kit, you got the project sheet in your kit. Otherwise, you can go to our website, g45papers.com, and go to uh, Project Sheets or Inspiration tab up on the top uh, right and scroll down to uh, Project Sheets. And that's where you will find this Nutcracker Suite interactive card set. Once you've got that in hand, it's gonna have um, all of your measurements, everything you need to know. Of course, I'm gonna tell you everything in this video, but if you wanna have that next to you while you're creating, it can be really uh, nice and handy. So some of the tools and supplies we're gonna need today are a paper trimmer, scissors, our scoring tool, our bone folder, a ruler, pencil, and I've got my various uh, types of adhesive. Card one. Step one, we are going to take Land of Sweet and cut it to be four inches by five and a quarter. Then using your adhesive of choice, we are going to adhere this flat onto 
the center of our ivory card base. If you are following along at home and you want to create your own card bases, you can uh, take some coordinating uh, nice heavy duty cardstock and uh, cut it to be eight and a half by five and a half and then score at four and a quarter and that will give you this nice card base. Step two from Holiday Magic, we have a piece that's cut to three and a half by four and three quarters. And we have cut this from the left-hand side of our paper. And then add some foam adhesive to the back side. We want our green side showing. And then adhere to the center of our card base. Step three, we've taken a piece of Clara's Dream that's four and a half by four and a half. And we're gonna create our envelope with this piece. So you can really create an envelope with any size you want. Um, it just needs to be square using this technique. So I've got my candy side down and I'm going to take my bottom left-hand corner and match it up with my top right and fold down and then unfold. I'm just folding with my fingers. I don't want to burnish anything too hard. I'm looking for my center point at this uh, time. So now I'm going to take my uh, bottom right and fold it up to my top left and just fold that down, crease it with your finger. I've just flipped this over so I've got my candy side up and I'm gonna just mark where my center point is. That's where those two, these two pieces, or these two uh, paths cross. So I've got my center point and I have marked that. So it's just gonna make it easier in showing you. So now I'm going to have it as a diamond and I'm gonna take my, uh, left hand side and I'm going to fold this over just past that dot. So once I've done that, go ahead and burnish with my bone folder and then I'm going to do the same on the opposite side and I'm just going to overlap these just about an eighth of an inch. So you can see these do just slightly overlap and then from here I am going to fold up my bottom and I want that to go over my two points and having a little oops, sorry for the bump the little point up here so again burnish with your bone folder and now we've created a cute little DIY envelope. So to adhere it shut, you wanna make sure you're not getting any adhesive on there, otherwise you're not gonna be able to slide in your card. And I'm just going to pull up some of that adhesive. I just refilled my adhesive bottle, so it's really over eager to squeeze out that adhesive. So making sure I don't have any adhesive underneath there, go ahead and burnish it down. Add your adhesive to the back side and then this is just going to adhere just a little bit off center pointing to the top right. Step six from Endearing Sentiments. We've cut these tiny little nutcrackers out to be three and three quarters of an inch. And this is just gonna go right over the uh, bottom of our envelope across. And then from your keyholes, we're gonna take this little pointy number and using a nice liquid adhesive could use a glossy accents or E6000 for this as well. We're going to adhere this down and we are going to, at the same time, we want it to be over a red envelope, but also we want it to be capturing one of these cute little nutcrackers. 
Step seven from Festive Fairy Tales. We've cut out this uh, storybook nutcracker piece here and we've left it all attached. So we went around the green border around all three of these rectangles. And then we are going to go ahead and fold this in thirds. This way is a cinch and easy to do. So now I've got my little trifold storybook, which also doubles as a great space for photo mats. And that's going to just slide right into our pocket. Step eight, we're going to create another little envelope for the inside of our card. And this is from Land of Sweets, and it's been cut to four by four inches. And we are going to follow the same instructions every time for our envelopes in this tutorial. So making it easy for you. So matching up our bottom left with our top right. And now the opposite side will just crease with your fingers. That way we're getting our nice center point. Once you've got your center point, we want our stripes to be on the inside and we want our green on the outside. So just folding this right past our little mark. Doing the opposite side now and overlapping by just about an eighth of an inch. Now I'm going to take the bottom and go right over that point. So you can see my bottoms do have a little bit of a straight edge here, creating that nice sized pocket. So I've used my bone folder to crease those and now I can adhere the shit. Step 10 from Holiday Magic. We've cut out this little nutcracker cut apart and now we're going to put this all together. So from your Shades of Purple flower assortment, just take out these three green pieces. Now we're just kind of playing around with how we like it and once you have an idea then you can start to adhere things down. So I want my gr two of my green pieces underneath my envelope, so I'm going to adhere those first. And liquid, of course, is great for these little fine intricate pieces. Now I'm going to adhere my envelope again. Keeping things on a diagonal to keep it interesting, of course. And then I always have a wet paper towel around to clean up any messes as I go along. And then this little sprig is just going to go nicely inside my little envelope. And then this is your choice. You can adhere your nutcracker into your envelope or you could leave it out and add some sentiments or some photo or something fun on the backhand side. I'm going to adhere mine in there. And then of course you can still fit a gift card or another little trinket in this envelope as well. So there you have it. We've finished our card number one. And then taking that same template, here is what you can create using the snowflake waltz and the beautiful ballet. You can see again, we have framed one of these cute little nutcrackers. Uh, this time, this nutcracker has actually been uh, cut out from another little cut apart and then put behind there. So you can do it uh, just like we did here, or you can go the next level and cut it out, adhere it to the back, and then adhere it on here. We've got a little postcard adhered in there. 
And then inside we have another little snowflake waltz envelope. Some of our shades of purple flower assortment pieces and another little storybook add-in. Card two. Step one for card two, we're gonna cut Christmas March to be four inches by five and a quarter. Adhere this on to the center of the front card. Then with the B side of this Christmas March paper, cut a piece to be three and a half by four and three quarters. With some foam adhesive, adhere that on to the center. And then from Nutcracker Suite, we are gonna do a bit of fussy cutting. We're gonna fussy cut out this charming little nutcracker. So I'm just using some fine tip scissors and I'm gonna go in and fussy cut him out. Or right now I'm just loosely cutting him out, making sure I'm not really cutting into anything I might want to use later. And then we're just gonna start with the bottom base and just slowly work around cutting him out. So like I always say, you just want to mostly make your hands do the work on any of the curved parts. So when you're fussy cutting, you kind of want to drive that paper through the blade. You know, here at Graphic 45, we love fussy cutting because it shows you that you can create your own embellishments. You can create so many layers with these. It really shows you how to pull apart our really gorgeous and busy papers. I know a lot of people say that they just love our signature pages and they want to frame them, but they don't know what else to do with them. So here is an example of how you can work with that. So you can always just cut out a piece and put that on a card. You could even use one of those second or third sheets to do some fussy cutting to layer on, you know, uh, multiple layers and some foam dots if you were to just cut it out that way. But you can always do it this way. So there you have it, our fussy cut little nutcracker. Add your foam adhesive, and this is just going to adhere towards the left-hand side of our card. Just going over just a little bit on the bottom and top. And then from that same signature page, we're gonna cut out that bow. Next, grab out five of these yellow little flower centers and then start to adhere your pieces just flat down. So using a nice liquid adhesive. And we just want to stagger these on the front of our card, kind of adding a nice little firework element to the front, making it nice and exciting. It's a great way to use up these flower assortments in a unique way. And when adhering on some embellishments onto the front, it's always nice to adhere to the rule of odds, making sure you have an odd number on there. So it kind of keeps the rhythm in your eye flowing nicely. Now we're going to adhere on our keyhole. But of course, if you wanna go above and beyond like Nancy has, she has just cut out this cute little Rat King from the Holiday Magic Paper. And then we are going to adhere it to the back of our keyhole so the Rat King's face just pokes out just perfectly, adding some extra interest to our card front. So to do that, I'm just gonna add some adhesive to my metal piece and then just kind of move it around how however you like it making sure you're using a, a liquid adhesive that's going to dry clear 
once you have it how you like it, go ahead and adhere this down. And then for step five, we have an, created another envelope using the Christmas March. This is a four and a half by four and a half inch square that we've just followed um, the steps from card one to create this envelope. And then on the inside, we are going to adhere this on an angle, a little catty wampus as Nancy puts it in the project sheet. And then again, we can cut out one of these pieces from festive fairy tales and fold into thirds like we did with our last one. And then this cute little story is just going to tuck right in here, or you can leave this paper out and just tuck in a gift card or a note to the recipient. So using your leftovers here, we've done something a little bit different. We didn't do a fussy cut on here, but of course you could use a fussy cut piece and put that on here instead of the envelope. We've got Clara's Dream and Land of Sweets. We've got some cute little tags in there and then inside a Clara's Dream pocket and some of those green flower assortment pieces. Card three. Step one for card three from Sugar Plum Fairies. We've cut this piece to be four by five and a quarter. Step two from Enchanted Journey. We've cut this piece to be three and a half by four and three quarters. And then we've added some foam adhesive we're just going to pop this up candy canes are right side up on the center of our card next we're going to take five various flowers from our purple flower assortment adhere them to the outside of the ivory rectangle step four we're going to cut gingerbread delights to three and a half by three and a half and then follow those steps just like we did on our cards one and two, creating an envelope with the gingerbread on the outside and the stripes on the inside. Adhere on an angle to the front of your card. Step five from Endearing Sent Sentiments. We're gonna cut out this Sugar Plum Fairy and then I've added some foam adhesive to the back and that's gonna be flush with our ivory paper on the left-hand side just a little bit over the top of the envelope. And see, we've got some nice, good dimensions and shadows going on right now. Step six from Holiday Magic, we've cut out this Visions of Sugar Plum. And this you can, of course, just stick in your envelope like so and add something cute on the back for the recipient. Or you can always add some adhesive to I just put it on um, the back of the left hand side and now I can just have it popping out of my envelope like so so I can still read visions of sugar plums so for the inside of our card for step seven we're going to create another little envelope this time with a four by four inch square like this and then we are going to take some more flower pieces two different sizes of these nice little purple flowers and then create a little flower sandwich with these three pieces and there you have the inside of our card number three hold up one last step from enchanted journey we've cut out two sugar plum fairy panels together and we can just fold this nicely in half and we can tuck it so perfectly inside of our little envelope and then with your leftovers using that same template this is what you can create using the uh, land of sweets paper as the base and envelope and holiday magic as our little background inside we've got another land of sweets envelope and some of those gorgeous little flower assortment green and yellow pieces. If you've enjoyed creating these interactive envelope cards with us today, we'd love to hear which is your favorite of the bunch. So go ahead and comment down below and be sure to welcome Nancy while we are at it. 
to being our new card creator for this series. We thank you so much as always for joining us and we'd love to see your cards. So go ahead and share your cards with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more fun and fabulous tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you are emailed every time we upload a new fun and fabulous tutorial like these ones. We thank you so much again for joining us and as always, happy paper crafting and happy holidays.